Welcome back to another episode of Podcast with Mark 45. Today, we are at the finish line, for the time being, of the MonsterVerse movie marathon. And we are finally at the point where we get to see the two main character monsters go head-to-head, fight each other, see who is the better monster. This is, of course, Godzilla vs. Kong. Now, obviously, there is a older King Kong vs. Godzilla movie, Back in, I think it was the 80s when it came out. And it was done by Toho, the Japanese company. And uh, Kong looked like some Bigfoot mort with some scary, a scary, skinny, homeless human. That's what the old Kong looks like. And I think the, there was no decisive winner. I think the, the it ended with Godzilla. They, they both fell into the water and then Kong came out walking out of the, out of the ocean. So I think... It was not officially confirmed, but people were saying Kong won that one. So, now we have the 2021 movie, a movie that has capitalized my channel a lot last year, and uh, I've gained a lot of views and money from that movie. (laughs) So, I am back here again in preparation for Godzilla and Kong, The New Empire, which is the ultimate goal, the the end point where we're, we're building this movie marathon towards two. Uh, before we get started, I know we kind of briefly talked about it at the King of Monsters reaction. Oh, I'll, I'll, of course, if you want to catch up to everything we've reacted prior, they are all available now. You, they, you should be able to find them easily, so go watch them first if you're interested. But, all right, so let me get back to what I was saying. Let's get some predictions running before we actually watch the movie here. So, you were Team Kong. Yeah. All right, you think Kong is going to win, and you think Godzilla is going to win. No, it's the, the arm is going to come in and nuke him both. Right, okay. Just kidding, it's Godzilla. Okay, okay, so let's, let's, let's get some predictions going, because I'll tell you, there is, there is pure monster fights in this movie, not, not a lot of human stuff. How do you think it's going to go? Godzilla's going to... Kong is going to beat Godzilla up, then Godzilla gets... Uh, becomes burning Godzilla and one shots him. And one shots him. And I will have you know, there is a clear cut winner. There is a winner. There is no draw. Because they did that with Batman versus Superman, where it technically ended in a draw, and then, yeah. So what do you think here? There is a win- there is a winner here. How do you think it's gonna go, Santos? I think from the post credit scene, the the skull that they bought, the humans bought. You're gonna turn that into Mecha Godzilla. That's your prediction. And then, I don't know which side Mecha Godzilla is gonna be on, but and then it's gonna intervene so between think, the battle. So you think there's gonna be like a third party yeah. villain that's gonna come in? Well, we shall see. Obviously, I've seen this movie a couple times, so that's why I can tell you there is a winner. But uh, all right, let's see if any of you got it correct. So, uh, any last words before we get started? Oh yeah, by the way, we have our we have Godzilla and Kong right here watching with us, our companions. Much better than Ghidorah, who's taking up most of the te- most of the table. <laughs> so, all right, let's get started. What resolution is this again? 480. This is what he looks like now. He's a lot older now. It looks like he's retired. <laughs> he looks a lot different from Skull Island, like the first movie. Wow. Not since we're that. <laughs> also, he's a lot bigger from when he was originally. Is that an impromptu spear? Do you think he looks any different? Or the same from. I don't I didn't watch. I, I don't remember. I only watched like a small clip of it. smart they really send a little girl to deal with the big gorilla i don't i don't think it's very humane i guess not she's deaf by the way if you can't tell already 
Like the act, the actress, she's actually dead mm-hmm. in real life. He's sending a deaf little girl. <laughs> yeah, to go try to talk with the big gorilla. <laughs> yep. All right. I see Eleven is back. Yes. Will she have powers now? It looks like a tournament bracket. Yeah. It kind of is, yeah. <laughs> Got a Godzilla podcast. Yep. This is a whole new company. It's not Monarch. They made a new company. No, it was like Microsoft. Damn, is Bill Gates in there? Yeah, more like Elon Musk. <laughs> Do you know what he's doing? Mugging him. Purposely. So you can get him to leave. Oh, you want him to leave? Okay. See? Get him away from the computer. So he was purposely being annoying. Why is he eating the apple? <laughs> he just takes the apple with him. He was really hungry. Did they bring another Japanese guy? That's his son. Oh, that's... That's psycho... Wait. The doctor's son. Yeah. Okay. I see he's been reincarnated. He's come back. So Godzilla's the bad guy now? Kinda oh, looks like Apparently it. Apparently so. I don't think it looks like it's from Portal. Surprisingly, only eight people died from that. How many people? Um, so Apex is anti-Godzilla. Yeah. And then... Monarch is pro-Godzilla. Yeah, I know, but this justifies Apex. Apex is claim because he just attacked a facility. If only our podcast was this popular. <laughs> we be gossiping about monsters. We are watching people gossip about monsters. You should stop listening to the Mark 45 podcast. Exactly. It's filling your head with garbage. Is that supposed to be this the guy from last from No. He's never shown up before? This is a new character. He's the CEO of Apex. No no no, the the, the guy they're trying to recruit. Oh yeah, no, he's new. I'll tell you right now the only returning characters is Millie Bobby Brown and her dad. Kind of reminds me of WandaVision. What, because of the hex? Yeah. It's a little fun fact. You know how Ghidorah made, did like an alpha call in the last movie when he became the alpha? Kong was one of the few titans who didn't care about it. Just ignored him. Maybe he was in here already. Yeah. Maybe he just stuck and didn't, didn't hear it. Did he take a nap on a boat? Yep. They sedated him. Oh. That was a really strong sedation. I'm just casually taking a nap. Yeah, well, how else are they gonna move him? He can swim. Then he definitely won't have a chance against Godzilla. <laughs> Give him, like, the carrot on a stick and then you just... <laughs> what, get the little girl to, to control it? He kind of looks, looks like Tony Stark at that angle. Yeah. Doesn't even get shelter. <laughs> so... Give him an umbrella. <laughs> what is his job again? I just lead the mission. So, basically do nothing. Very good idea. 
go out into the middle of the rain. Big monkey's sleeping. <laughs> well, I don't think he's sleeping. I think he's more pissed off. And then he goes flick. <laughs> Learned how to s sign language. So how do you say bring me Godzilla in sign language? Oh, uh, bring me... Yeah, because of the atomic breath. <laughs> oh yeah, it's my favorite anime. My favorite drink. <laughs> I just don't think it's a good idea looking for some secret way off the internet. That does sound very strange in <laughs> context. If you do podcasts on Godzilla, just be prepared to have lots of stalkers. Be prepared for Mini Bobby Brown to show up at your door. <laughs> Does she even have her N? Probably not. Let's judge her driving skills. We can be the driving instructors. I mean, she's staying in the lane. <laughs> oh, oh, she failed. Yeah, that's a, that's an instant fail. Uh, no, he, he touched the steering wheel. Yeah, but you, I don't think you're supposed to let other people be that's able true, to touch the true. steering wheel. He consumes a ton of bleach. Wait, what? Showers with it. I don't know if that's better. Just so the government can't track you. Okay, Ryan, you wanna try that? All right, I'm. I'll be right. I'm gonna go to Costco later and get some bleach. <laughs> this isn't one of those internet challenge things. That looks like a Walmart's movie. <laughs> yeah, it's Walmart. He was in Shang Chi. That guy was in Shang Chi. That actor, yeah. Was he? What does he play? He, he was one of the. Oh, the announcer. No, he was the. You know, like fight club? his sister ran a Fight Club. Oh yeah, yeah. He was I one, remember. He was one of the workers. He there. looks like. He looks like Shang Chi, but like, you know, <laughs> slightly different. If you buy a live fish, I'll give you his address. Easy profit. Would you, would you trust a store that just gives you your address out? <laughs> that sounds like Cookie Monster. <laughs> tap or no tap? No tap. What is tap? Water. 12 seconds later. Tap water? Oh, he really hates tap water. If you don't drink tap water, where does your water come from? Bottled water? Maybe. This is just this is more expensive. <laughs> you know, Gia's parents were killed on the island. When the storm took over the island, it wiped out the native people. Oh yeah, that's why Skull Island is now completely covered in the storm, because of Ghidorah. So Ghidorah covered a storm? Skull Island already had a storm surrounding it, and you know Ghidorah can create his own storm. So he, the two storms merged together and it just completely overtook the island. So it's completely covered now. That's why they built, put Kong in a containment, to protect him from the storm. She has power, she can sense, sense you all through the walls. And so begins round one. I agree, get her off. One chip down. Alright, Santos, who's your money on for this round? Godzilla. Uh, I think Kong's gonna win this one. To be fair, they are in Godzilla's turf. The ocean. <laughs> this is Godzilla takes the ships out, and then Kong comes in and beats him up, assuming he can free himself. No, he has to fight while tied up. <laughs> Very fair. And he's in the ocean. Very fair. Yeah, he's probably gonna lose. No, he's definitely in trouble. No, they had that, but they just didn't just waited to use it. And so the fight begins. Ships is a uh, jump hat. 
Those are some expensive lily pads. <laughs> yeah. People's tax money goes to these ships. Yeah. Paper airplane. Yep. <laughs> A very expensive paper airplane. Probably has very big lungs. Time for a nice nap. <laughs> so, we have our winner. For, at least for this round. Godzilla? Yep. Go fight again. Just go stealth mode? Godzilla leaves you alone. I mean, to be fair, it was really in Godzilla's favor. The ocean. <laughs> How do you even move around in this place? Uh, How's there no security in this place? They're like, oh, got destroyed? Yeah, I'll just leave it. It's fine. I really don't understand women. Yeah. Couldn't agree with you more. <laughs> just crazy people, just very trustworthy, you know? I wouldn't go in a chamber with purple lasers. <laughs> They're still operating. Yeah, it's so it's underground. They're like, let's just you know, when when the top is destroyed, we'll get rid of all the security. We'll let the we'll let the bottom be unguarded. Have a nice meal, skull crawlers. They just fed them three humans. Why does she keep running away from home every movie? I know, right? <laughs> this is what our sky train needs to be. You, you want skull collars in the sky train? No, but it can go- it's going from Florida to Hong Kong. That'd be pretty good. It's like underground plane. That's a nice havoc. Yeah, you know how many helicopters is there? I feel like that shouldn't be strong enough to lift him, but I guess that's some really durable rope. Ah, freeze him into mice. He becomes Ghidorah, Ghidorah yeah. That's a great alarm clock. <laughs> Gunshots. It's like, man, what the hell? Where'd you take me now? <laughs> this is not that big here. I guess it's probably a big place. Pretty sure Skull Island never gets this cold, so he's not used to it. Tongan's ice powers. You can now he ice bend. Frozen. zone. <laughs> <laughs> or Elsa. <laughs> Can you imagine Kong and Elsa cause? No, please, I don't want to put that image in my head. <laughs> Go into this cramped tunnel, it is now your home. Do they even know what's down there? No. Why don't you guys just go, go scout? Because they don't know what's down there, they need Kong as a guide. Oh, they're going to a hollow earth. Yeah, why else would they bring Kong along? Monkey bars? Well, he is a monkey. He is a monkey after all. Literally just made the whole place's playground. That's that's not clear water. <laughs> it looks murky. Making some prime hydration. That's the Kong slide. <laughs> like what the hell, man? So how exactly does gravity? This, so there's there's a roof, and then the roof is also land. The gravity's inverse, I think. 
but if there's a line on both sides, then how do you know it's inversed? How do you know it's not? There's, I think there's like a middle line, in the middle of the gravity changes. So you jump high enough, you can like jump and go to the other side. Well, maybe Kong can test that out. <laughs> Kong test the mechanics. Pulling a Hulk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Forbidden juice. <laughs> Need some seasoning. What would that even be like? Blended spinach? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fruit and vegetable smoothie? Ugh. That's kind of disgusting. This is not a thing. It's like people yeah. make like smoothies out of greens. You made of uh, kale, kale, kale. Okay, kale smoothie. That's forbidden kale smoothie. Oh, by the way, the internet has called this guy Doug. <laughs> it looks like it's a mini Godzilla. Doug is such a boring name for a mini Godzilla, though. Yeah. Now I can't believe it's wrecking balls alt move. <laughs> <laughs> Area denied. Yes. All right, time to test out the jump. He's actually gonna do it. <laughs> Oh. Kong the game tester. <laughs> the gravity mechanics haven't been sorted out yet. Kinda reminds me of Super Mario Galaxy. Isn't it really expensive to light up only when they pass? I think it's more expensive it more expensive to keep the whole tunnel lit. But why light it up at all? Just put lights inside. Still no security, even on the Hong Kong facility. <laughs> oh yeah, pitch black. How great. Good job following instructions. <laughs> Mecha Godzilla. Santos, <laughs> you were right. That guy just named him. Did you just come up with an official name? Like clearly that you wouldn't say Robot Godzilla and then track it to Mecha Godzilla unless it was like movie plot reasons. News. Jap local Japanese man becomes Mecha Godzilla. So yeah, that's why Godzilla is provoked because they're building Mecha Godzilla. He can sense the Mecha Godzilla. He like he knows Apex is doing something shady, so he's trying to put an end to it. Yes, the ancient handprint sensor. <laughs> Develop fingerprint identification before we did. Just that it in involves um, massive strength. He entered to battle a Dark Souls boss. <laughs> Godzilla Jr. shows up. Doug. Doug shows up. Doug is the Dark Souls boss. Doug is the secret boss. It's not Mecha Godzilla. <laughs> oh, there's the... There's the trailer weapon. Is that the power source? This guy's really walking around with no clothes. You know, this movie could have potentially been over. They, they took out one of the planes though, like, it could have been any of them. They could have taken out the girl and then, like, oh, oh no, the movie's done. You didn't think of checking the air is breathable first? 
No. If Kong is in there, it must be okay. Okay, they do have security. It's just not really good. <laughs> Let's not go to the exit. Let's risk our lives by looking at Mecha Godzilla. It's Monster Zero. Ghidorah. Looks like someone's gaming setup. Santos was on point with your prediction. I just, I, I was, I had a silent reaction, like, oh my god, this guy just got it. <laughs> Santos, are you sure you didn't watch the movie beforehand? No, I didn't. Kong's gonna win, he's predicted it already. So yeah, the dude who bought it at the post credit scene, I think he sold it to Apex. Flipping. Yeah. How much profit was it? No I would idea. like to know. And they used them to build Mecha Godzilla. It really does look like a gaming setup. The guy's, like, VR setup is, like... Oh, well, rip bridge. It was over the height limit. This is where they're testing Mechagodzilla, right? You're gonna evacuate all of Hong Kong. The Good city luck is being a... <laughs> Good luck yeah. with that. <laughs> Titan shelter. Yeah, Hong Kong is very populated. So why did they take so long to evacuate people if they knew it was coming? No, they didn't know. Oh, they didn't know? Go okay. Godzilla was going to Hong Kong. You know, Monarch doesn't know about Mechagodzilla. On, only, on, okay, yeah, only the people that in, only Eleven and her group knows. It's the key. Wireless charger. Wireless. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Damn. Can I have that charger? It seems pretty You efficient. want a battle axe as your charger? Yes. It'd be cool, really. Actually, like a battle axe shaped wireless charger would be pretty neat. Why does he sound so excited? What are you doing? How many times do they say, what are you doing? <laughs> they, they have now claimed their property. This is the US and oil. Does the sample just get transmitted directly? Literally, uh, it's sent through the cloud. <laughs> How Airdrop they Wi-Fi? They're airdropping it. <laughs> oh, you don't point at the little girl. You fools. That's a great idea. Let me just... Point a gun at the little girl that Kong has a relationship with. We have no idea how this energy source will affect the Mecha. Get in the goddamn chair. Sounds like a threat. Oh yeah, now you're scared. When Kong does his battle cr battle cry, it's okay. But when they start taking out your men, that's when you escape. You've gotta get people killed first, or else it doesn't seem dramatic enough. Oh, like that pilot? Oh, yeah. They're fighting over, fighting over food. Literally, that's literally crows. <laughs> it looks like a, this is a really ugly crow. Yeah. It's a bald crow. It looks more like a turkey. <laughs> Forbidden turkey. Oh yeah. Did the Godzilla beam really reach that deep? Yep. Man dug a hole all the way to Hollow Earth. Can we have that in Minecraft, please? Can you go strip mining? Just get Godzilla to come help us. <laughs> Just jump down the hole, and then you'll see a diamond, you know? Yeah, why would you shoot at him, you idiot? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, no one, no one important's in there. Got it. <laughs> His statue, no. All right, my axe is fully charged. Time to go. Oh, he's, that's going up, right? Yeah. That's so weird. That's <laughs> going deeper. I know it kind of confuses you. <laughs> Why does he have a flip phone? Because <laughs> iPhones can be tracked. You can't track a flip phone. No, you could. It's just that. But you could like grab a camera or something. You're filming, right? I don't know. A questionable choice. 
All right, round two. Who's your money on? Kong this has the axe. final round. No. Kong will win this. So you're on Kong. Godzilla. All right. Why are we so, <laughs> why are we switch sides? <laughs> Look at him. He has an axe. All right. Here we go. Like, ha have a nice bite of my axe. Oh, that's got to burn. Oh. Very close. This will be a pretty cool Disney ride. Godzilla shoots at you while you right, right past. By the way, the beam is real. If you touch it, you're dead. Yep. Captain America's shield. <laughs> you were right. All right, tiebreaker round. Who's your money on? Uh, Godzilla. Can I bet on Mecha Godzilla? <laughs> I don't know. Mecha Godzilla is gonna come in, I think. I told you there will be a winner. Mechagodzilla's the winner. <laughs> no, between the two of them. There's oh. one of them actually wins. This is the final round? Yep. Oh. Okay, Kong. <laughs> yeah. Let me go back. I'm gonna... I did say our Godzilla originally. I'll go Godzilla. I didn't know Kong wanted Godzilla to step on him. <laughs> and we have our winner. So they just, this, they talked it out. <laughs> Growls. No, but one, there was a winner. All right, Mecha Godzilla, come in and beat up Godzilla. It's time to show the world what you can do. Pilot engaged. Looks like he's high. This is how we, as species, win. He became sentient. When Wajira was first revealed to the world, I had a dream. His dream was getting blasted by Mecha Godzilla. Oh, 
I really became an electric chair. All right, now is the final round. How does it sentient? Did they just build an AI into it? Ghidorah. Ghidorah took over. Oh, Ghidorah. Ghidorah round two. So Godzilla caused this because he bit off the head. If he did not, it would be okay. So, I, I think Godzilla wins here. Let's see. <laughs> Monarch already knows, they, they watched it happen. <laughs> Why does she look like 10 years older? They literally got hit with dust and Yeah, I, but it makes her look like much older. Time to res the Kong. That was like a big screen TV. That is now gone. <laughs> What's this? Is this gonna be a team up? It's gonna be Godzilla and Kong versus Mecha Godzilla. Potentially. That is my guess. You're where? Well, you can't be mad if you can't hear it. I'm on a nice trip to Hong Kong, enjoying this uh, nice scenery of God two Godzillas fighting. And wrecking up Hong Kong. <laughs> I'm reliving my traumatic experiences. You are a very brave little girl. <laughs> He has no idea. <laughs> it's okay. Good intentions. Kame <laughs> Kame. Oh. That's a big ass defibrillator. That's oh. <laughs> how you bring Kong back to life. Yeah, I don't know about Godzilla winning. <laughs> no, 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 no. Kong comes in as backup and Godzilla wins. There you go. He just whooped my ass. What are you on about? <laughs> He's like, wait, what Godzilla? Which one are you talking about? <laughs> they look the same to me. Damn, this guy's trying to. Did he dislocate his shoulder? Yep. Playing it back in place. Is that your favorite programming language, Santos? HTML? It's technically not a program. Yeah, that's why, that's why I said it. <laughs> yeah, he's getting his ass whooped. <laughs> Alright, time to give mouth to mouth. Looks like you were right, Brandon. To be fair, that was pretty predictable. Here we go. Time to take his diamond axe and, and chop down Mecha Godzilla. Godzilla's now drunk. Look at that combo attack. It's actually pretty cool.
Mortal Kombat style. <laughs> Fatality. Fatality. So you were half right. Mecha Godzilla would lose, but not to Godzilla. <laughs> well, only only two. He lost in a two v one. Yeah, but it was Kong that got the killing blow. How the bloody hell did you find him amidst all this chaos? <laughs> he has plot armor. Look, he's taller than everyone else. You, would you like to be in the scene? You must be short. <laughs> He was already on it. He's already it's on it. It's an advertised podcast. <laughs> he already won. He's already into business. Is it a Kong documentary? <laughs> oh, they put him in Hollow Earth. And Skull Island is un not un uninhabitable anymore, so he can't he can't live there anymore. Kong can rule Hollow Earth. Godzilla rules the surface. All right, there's no post credit scene by the way. Well, technically, there was no victory because they were just like. Godzilla just left. Hold that thought. Okay. Right. So, within minutes after seeing the movie, let's talk about it now. What? How was that for you guys? There's more fight scenes, which is good. It's less human stuff. So, what do you think of the, like, just the, the writing overall to get to the monster fights? There was a lot of screen time with Kong and, like... Yeah, this movie was very focused on Kong. You know, who, kn who knows what Godzilla was doing, but definitely was not on screen. To be fair, Godzilla had two movies prior to this. Kong only had one. I think that was the point. There was a, this is a semi- it's a, like 75% Kong movie. Let me ask you this. Of all the fights, which one was the best? Combo attack. The, the last- the, wherever- the, when Kong was beating up Mechagodzilla. So it's like the Mechagodzilla fight was- Yeah, but I like this- I like the second half where they were beating up Mechagodzilla. Okay. How about strictly, strictly Godzilla versus Kong? There was three matches, two in Hong Kong, one at the sea, at the ocean. Well, uh, yeah, I don't like, I don't, it does, I don't count the, it's kind of like, it feels like the same fight, because it was just like, he's down for like a minute, not even a minute, and then he comes out down, so it's like the same fight. Yeah, the Hong Kong one is better. You think it's just because, like, how so, why? Uh, he's using his axe. Yeah, that one's more fair. The other one just feels like, oh, they the humans chained him and are they're too scared to unchain him, so he has a, he's at a disadvantage. And he's in the ocean, which is a huge disadvantage. He's already screwed, but like the humans made it worse. Yeah. Also, he's kind of screwed in Hong Kong because basically Godzilla has a gun and he was spamming the, <laughs> yeah. the breath. He has a projectile and like Kong has a melee weapon. Don't <laughs> bring an that axe to a gun. But the weapon can absorb the yeah, but. Breath. Once he loses his weapon, he's like, it's over. <laughs> it's okay, don't lose his weapon. Are you just doing at libs for Santos? <laughs> you're just doing, you're just a hype man. You're like, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> I'm helping you, Santos. Keep going. Okay, well, what about you, Brian? What do you think of the, the story and all that? It's all right, except um, I, I question the sanity of Eleven, or the, the girl, Madison. Millie Bobby Brown. <laughs> yes, she has many names now. Why would you listen to a podcast, then get the great idea to go visit the guy on the podcast and go to Hong Kong and sneak, yeah, I don't know, but questionable, questionable motives, or questionable, you know, methods. Well, the point is, is um, Apex was building Mechagodzilla out of Ghidorah, like using his skull. Godzilla clearly senses it, so that's why he's all hostile and attacked the facility. Which then Apex was able to use that event as a justification that, oh, Godzilla's a bad guy now, and we have a solution for it. Yeah. And that's what, I guess that's what um, Millie was trying to get to the bottom. Yeah, but like, she wanted to find out, but why would you do, why are you so, why you do that, like, such a risky way? I mean, it's plot armor, obviously, like. They literally walked around 
both facilities in Florida and Hong Kong had minimal security. It was like very, very later until they went to the DJ booth that they finally got caught. <laughs> Good plan on the on their part. Yeah, they they forgot it. Oh, maybe that's like, you know, actually big friend of them because don't put the security there. You save money, and then they let down their guard, and then they get into the part where it's security, and they're like, oh, oh, oh shoot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's actually really smart because they're saving money on security. And the people just let down their guard. <laughs> that's true. That's true. They, they, they only they only catch people when needed, when absolutely needed. I don't even know how the the girl can have like communicate with the Kong sign language. Yeah, I know, but like she goes like I can feel his heartbeat. Uh, <laughs> she has powers. That's the only explanation. Well, it's, she is she is um, like a native on Skull Island, and then when the storm took over the island, her parents were killed. That's why the that doctor. Yeah, but her powers aren't explained. Yeah. Is the question? This is the thing. Sign language? Yes, that makes sense. If the monkey, this the the call monkey. If Kong can do sign language, sure, because he has hands, right? Sign language yeah. makes sense. But her touching a wall and sensing him makes no sense unless oh, other power. Yeah, and also on the ship, she sends Godzilla. So she has she has Titan powers. So I'm assuming in the next movie, she's back. She's in the next movie. She there. They hopefully will explain that she has some sort of power or connection to the Titans. Otherwise, nothing in this movie really makes sense. The parts where she's like, well, the actress is actually deaf in real life. So I honestly, props to her. She did a good job. She did a pretty good job. From the Godzilla versus Kong fights, so you said Hong Kong was better. Yeah. Okay. What about you? <laughs> I mean, yeah, Hong Kong's better than the ocean one. Okay, okay, well, how about let's talk about it? What, what, what did you think of the Hong Kong fight then? Lots of destruction. Buildings buildings blowing up is good. And I think it was a longer fight. They, they kind of counted as two fights, but to me it's just one long fight. With like a couple of phases. It's like Godzilla versus Kong. Kong wins. And then Godzilla versus Kong. Godzilla wins. Mecha, Mecha Godzilla comes up. They both beat him up. The clear winner was Godzilla between the two of them. I'd argue it was like... Uh, I guess, sort of, but they kind of made a truce. They just they made a truce, and then Kong got like a redemption arc by killing like a Godzilla. So in a way, Godzilla can't beat himself, but Kong can. <laughs> yeah. So does that mean Kong is better because Mecha Godzilla beat Godzilla, but then Kong beat Mecha Godzilla? With but if, but Godzilla have to charge his axe for him to start cutting up like sashimi. If the axe is actually sharp enough to cut up Mecha Godzilla. Shouldn't he have cut off Godzilla's head like when they like clash at each other? And I think the reason is because his his atomic breath protected him. It shielded the damage. I get how yes. this breath it just gives him an aura. Yeah, it gives him an aura, so it shielded him from getting his head chopped off by Kong. I guess. That that seems a bit of a stretch, but sure. Also, I will say the one critique I have is sometimes things align a little too perfectly. Like, for example, Godzilla drills a hole into the very throne room Kong is in. His power, his, he can sense it. So, okay, here's the thing. Um, I saw this I saw this interview with the director of this movie. He said, the re- Godzilla was losing to Mechagodzilla because he just had a fight with Kong. This was, like, literally minutes after his fight with Kong. So he's already kind of worn out and tired. So, obviously, and Mechagodzilla, a, it's, a, it's a robot. It doesn't have stamina. So obviously it was able to beat it was get it was able to get the upper hand on Godzilla very easily. I was, I'd imagine his skin is a lot weaker than Godzilla though. Yeah, whatever metal they built I was like, what did they build him out of? Titanium? <laughs> I mean it, it's strong, but like Godzilla's skin is very strong. So I pulled out Mecha Godzilla because of all the monsters, you know how with King of Monsters we looked at their older designs and how they got remade? Mecha Godzilla had the most obvious changes. The Mecha Godzilla here looks nothing like his original design. Right no, that's a Power Ranger. It's a Power Ranger. I think I've seen that before. Yeah, so he's he's not a new character. He's a, he's an original. He's part of the original Japanese universe. See, the looks kind of sad. <laughs> well, it's a human in a costume. Yeah, it's a human in a costume. Uh, is it? Is this supposed to be lore wise or just how they? This was in the old movies. Yeah, this was in the old movies. Okay, yeah. Yeah. The old movies. But lore wise it's not a human. No. <laughs> no. This was the oh, look, so, this was the older team up scene. Also it was just not Kong. It was just that some Who is that guy on the left? I don't know his name. It looks like a furry. 
but it was him and Godzilla teaming up on Mechagodzilla. So it's, it, they, it's a similar similar situation, just no Kong. <laughs> it looks like kids playing in the playground. <laughs> Technically. Um, let me show you the one from Ready, uh, Ready Player One. This one. This is Mechagodzilla from Ready Player One. Mm. So um, people thought this was going to be the design, that they were going to reuse his design. But nope, they redesigned him and made him look like a Transformer. Which is actually something I wanted to ask you on Santos. Like, what did you think of this Mecha Godzilla? He doesn't look like a Transformer. He looks like. But the way he was moving and fighting in the scene. Not really, no. He looks more evil. Yeah. That scene looks a lot more evil. Uh, this one? The down, down. Yeah, he looks. This is from the same. This is also Ready Player One. Yeah, I know. He looks evil. He's like. What shall I do? I love this photo. Just like, do it. Flipping off me. Oh, he's, <laughs> him off. he's giving him the middle finger. He's about to crush him. Someone bought the two toys. I guess it's this one. Actually, did a comparison. That was the same one as this. Yeah. See. Uh, why does the other one look so round? He looks fat. <laughs> Gain some weight. I mean, it's fair enough. Um, but yeah. Um, the the thing is, Mecha Godzilla was actually leaked, thanks to Funko. For this movie? Yeah. So when the trailers come up, they try to con keep him a secret, obviously. He was like the spoiler. But then Funko accidentally revealed him, just like what they did with Modoc. And that's how he would do Did they take it down? Did they took it down right away, but it was the, damp the, the Pandora's box was open at that point. So it was too late. Funko, you had... Was it an intern who's doing this? It's like... No, okay. So they didn't reveal the pop. They revealed they had photos of the back of the boxes and you can see Oh so they just careless like Godzilla and was on there. Yeah. That's that's all. Okay. Yeah. So it's just someone was careless. Yeah, and that's how they and they're like, oh okay. So it kind of followed um the Batman versus Superman formula. They fight each other and go beat up a single bad guy. Yeah, and then Dooms yeah, Doomsday was like the third party. Except they did what Batman versus Superman didn't do. Have a clear cut winner. Which was, yeah, Godzilla. <laughs> so they had a winner, but then they still did the thing. They still did the third party team up thing, yeah. So, what about you, Brian? What, what do you think of the, of the scene? Of the fights? The, 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 the final battle? When they team up? I mean, it's good. I like, I like them just, you know, charging the... It's like Thor with Iron Man charging up his um, axe. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or they, uh, Thor was charging up. Iron. But you said this was predictable, so you, you saw this fight. Yeah, I was like, I no after yeah after I saw Godzilla and Mecha Godzilla fight, and then Godzilla lock was losing. I was like, oh, that's what's gonna happen. Cause like they're gonna res him, and they're gonna go beat him up. This kind of, it's good and it's satisfying, but it's also a little predictable. So so another bit of backstory. Obviously, Godzilla and Mechagodzilla have fought each other in the older movies, but not never Kong. This was literally Kong's first time meeting Mechagodzilla in like cinema history, and you can also technically say this was Kong's first time meeting Ghidorah because this is basically Ghidorah yeah. taking. Not that he knows. Yeah. Well, obviously, Kong doesn't know that, but he's like, I see big monster. I, I, and it is beating up my, my rival. I must slice it. Exactly. Well. They're, I guess they're on even terms now, and obviously you know with the next movie, it's Godzilla x Kong, so now they're, they're allies. It's called... Oh. Yeah. That's what... It's, oh. This is a, when's the next movie coming out? In February. So they're going to be... They're, they're going to be fighting together again against an evil Kong called Scar King. Ah, how creative. He's a big orangutan, and yes, and he's basically going to fight, and he has an, he has an army of like monkeys. And we saw the trailer while Brandon was on his phone. <laughs> Which I think we can rewatch. I think we should include the trailer reaction in this. So I'll see it differently after I've seen the movies. I was waiting for Santos to get a, the transition. It is, and you did it. You did it perfectly. All right, so this is the new Empire reaction. What else? 
else were we wrong about? Same director, by the way. Who directed this movie? When did the last one come out? 2019? This movie? The one we just watched. Gods of Yeah. Yeah, 2021. Oh. Look, Kong what had a baby. That? That's not Kong. Who could have done this? Is that guy from the previous movie? Podcast, podcast guy. Oh. Uh, podcast guy's back. She, yeah. <laughs> There's the girl. Looks like Kong the Bolt. He has a Bolt spot. He's an orangutan. <laughs> Avengers assemble. There you go. So does the trailer make more sense now after seeing this movie? Yeah. Kong has an infinity gauntlet. <laughs> yeah, apparently it's called it's gonna be called the Beast Glove. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, the how original. <laughs> um. Yeah. So they're gonna be teaming up again to fight Scar King, and Scar King is a new monster. He's not from the original Japanese stuff. Like, they made him up. This is a this is a new one. New Isn't original. Kong like Western? Yeah, Kong is American. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know Mon uh, gorillas had races. Uh, well, K Kong is a gorilla. Scar King is an orangutan, so he's a lot skinnier than Kong. But he also he also carries weapons. He has a lot of weapons. Looks like he has a gun. Does he have a gun? I don't know. It's like a strap. Obviously, the movie isn't out yet, so all the photos we have came from the trailer. So, I guess we'll see once the movie comes out. Um... But yeah, also, Godzilla is pink. <laughs> For some reason. Yes. Uh, I think it is. I think they're basing it off the Millennium Godzilla, which I do not follow at all. I just know they base it. How on. powerful do you think Star Scar King and Spoiler Kaiju are? Uh, is there something else out spoiled? I guess something else got spoiled. Well, not me, so I don't want to know. <laughs> I don't want to know. Um, but, yeah, Kong has... Kong has uh, a glove, so maybe he'll lose his axe, he, and then he, his arm gets injured or something, and then the humans are like, here, take the Infinity Gauntlet. <laughs> I am Kong. Snaps. <laughs> Let's go back to this movie. What, out of ten? What do you give it? Seven. Seven? Sure, I'll give it a 7.5. Do you think it's better than King of Monsters? Yes. Yeah. I think in my movie, I think I gave it an 8 out of 10, but I filmed that two years ago, so I really don't remember what I said. But if, it, yeah, I'm going to say it's 8 out of 10. When, I, when we started this episode, I was like, what do you guys think is going to happen? I was kind of expecting you guys to just, to just predict who's going to win in the fights. And the Santos just went ahead and predicted the entire, the entire third fight with um, the humans using Ghidorah's head. To Are you sure you haven't seen this before? Make Mecha Godzilla. <laughs> it's obvious. Okay, let's, let's predict what will happen in this movie. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, let's, do it. let's do it. Well, of course, Scar King's gonna get defeated because it's always a happy ending. <laughs> Remember, he has an army of monkeys. It's not, it's not just him. Godzilla's gonna do some AoE attack with his pink stuff. <laughs> oh, okay. That doesn't. That does not sound. Okay. <laughs> it, it, apparently, from one of the posts, there's a spoiler kaiju, so they might pull another Mechagodzilla type thing again. 
they beat him up. Uh, Kong converts his followers into Kong's followers, so they help him now. And Godzilla's just an ally. Yeah, and then the sp spoiler kaiju will come in and they will beat him up. Okay. There's, there, there's my prediction. I guess we'll see what happens then. Uh, let's take a look at some of the products, shall we? Obviously for King of Monsters, Funko never made pops for it. They only started making pops for Godzilla vs. Kong. Mm. So this is the Godzilla vs. So this is this is the SH Monster Arts figures. Uh, so obviously we did show you Godzilla and Ghidorah from from that line. So from this movie, let's look at Kong first. The smallest of them all. <laughs> was this a hundred dollars? Nope. Kong was like forty dollars. I bought these both from um, a collectible store. Mecha Godzilla I ordered online. That looks like forty dollars. Kind of. <laughs> Are you saying it's low quality? Um. Well, SH Monster Arts is, is like usually high quality figures. What do you think? Would you like to touch them? That just sounds. Um... That sounds so wrong. Would you, would you, like, would you to, like to hold them? Would it's you like, like to hold them? <laughs> Lots of articulation. Obviously, comes with his axe. Oh God. <laughs> So what what is that is that all you gotta say, Santos? Yeah. Okay, what about you, Brian? Very good articulation. Okay, I'll fix the head. <laughs> he does have the same problem as Ghidorah. He cannot stand up. <laughs> there, we go. there we go. He's much smaller than Ghidorah, but he cannot stand up. Actually, curious question. Would you think would you think he'll be Kong will be able to fight Ghidorah? No. <laughs> he technically did. But like, this like weaker. real, this is weaker yeah, real Ghidorah. How did Ghidorah die? Supercharged, right? Yeah, burning Godzilla. Godzilla has too many forms. He's too OP. Okay, like Kong, with, he can't. He, he has to use his axe to fight Ghidorah. Do you think he'll have a chance? No, this is like three heads, so he can only block one laser. Oh yeah, that's true. Oh yeah, she, he shoots lightning. So for forty dollars, think that's a good price tag. I think your five hundred dollar Ghidorah figure. <laughs> Ghidorah is... figure is a scam. So I also think this is a scam. I don't really. Well, you don't collect figures, so yeah, you don't you don't know like how. Yeah, but like this is very similar to your Transformer stuff. I'm not a I don't collect figures, so to me it's not worth it. To okay. collector, I don't know. All right, let's look at let's look at Godzilla. So the, the 2019 Godzilla obviously had no blue at all. This one they 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 did a lot of changes to this one. He's spiky. It's actually kind of sharp, like you run it on. I don't know if you noticed, but his axe is a. Godzilla fin, one of his spikes. Oh, it is. Yeah. How did that happen? I guess he got injured, and I just no. He well, he found in the movie he just found the axe just lying around. So who made the axe? So they did explain um, the monkeys and the lizards had an ancient rivalry and they had a war a long time ago. Oh, so someone took a Godzilla fin or something of his species. Yeah. And then was like rip, axe. Yeah, probably something. Like now that. die. The tail's not very. Or, well, I don't want to break it. Yeah, the tail doesn't really have that much articulation. You yeah. can't like hit someone with it, unfortunately. I want I want Godzilla to do like a whip move, you know. He did that. No, I mean like wait, in real in with the figure. Oh, with the figure. Oh, yeah. Okay. Really There's like fun. gaps. I can see gaps in like his. So oh, that's true. I, I think would. He, I think he also um, use a tail whip on Kong. I don't know, rated a six. Six. Oh yeah. How about Kong? What do you rate Kong? Well, there's like less gaps, so. Oh, More gaps, artic gaps, that's, that's articulation. It. I don't know, seven. I remember. I remember this specifically. My critique of the Godzilla was, they made it look like there's toothpaste in his mouth. I get it's to mimic the atomic breath, but it looks like he has toothpaste. <laughs> he has good breath. Yes, he's been cleaning his mouth. Um, okay, and now. Mecha Godzilla. This released a year after everything else, which for, for good reason. Mm -hmm. To prevent spoilers, but I mean, it was already spoiled. Tail is Thanks, more <laughs> easily more articulated. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, his. Uh, can you. Yes, you can. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, that makes sense because he's a robot. Can you. Um, Rotate his yeah you can yeah, you like can. the movie yeah yeah can you make it spin fast enough <laughs> oh his tail his tail also spins yeah. in the movie not here not here oh, oh okay 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 <laughs> also he has these like electric punches that he uses he doesn't just punch normally he has this 
yeah. die cast feet and the, the joints are all friction so yeah. I, I like the mecha gods up better than the other two they did not include a red beam though which which was unfortunate it would be nicely that they gave him a red beam okay. yeah oh. this is the i will rate this uh eight okay well i'll i'll, I'll rate them here I'll give the call like five out of ten yeah um I'll, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'll g shoulder massage. I'll give uh, Godzilla six out of ten and Mecha Godzilla seven out of ten. It would be eight. Oh, 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 oh. I, I actually want. I want to hear your comments on one scene. There was one scene I was actually very curious in your reaction on when they when their beams clashed. It's a good wallpaper. Yeah. <laughs> That's well, nice, except uh, he got obliterated. Well, yeah, he has he has endurance. He does not. <laughs> oh. And, and he, he was spam. He spam. Remember, he used the breath to drill a hole into the Hollow Earth. His ammo's low. Yeah, his ammo's low. He was spamming it too against Kong, so it made sense. Okay, one last thing before we end this episode is, of course, the Funko Pops. So. You were, you, we were, we were very. We we left a couple comments about the design of Mechagodzilla. Let's look at the Funko version of him first. All right, here's the common one. Big head. And here's the Funko Shop one. Take a look. All right, take a look at this one. So this is the. Well, he has a beam for this one. This one is just the common. Well, of course, this one's better because. <laughs> Yes, I agree. One has red. Yeah, beam beam is better. They have no difference between the besides the beam. The poses are slightly different, ish, slightly. <laughs> What's his pose? Is his pose? His head is. Is his head more? Uh, the one with the beam. His head is more down. Yeah. Well, you can. I think. Can you adjust their? No, no, you can never. <laughs> you can't. Okay. Uh, the pose here is better. I think this pose is better, the the one without the beam, and then if you put this pose with the beam, that would be better. Well, the the beam would just be like. Yeah, that's you shoot at people, right? You don't shoot. Well, he was well, he well when Mechagodzilla first broke out of the mountain, the first thing they did was just spam his beam into a bunch of buildings. So friendly fire, like just to just, just just to tell let the audience know that he's a he's a bad guy. He's not a good guy. <laughs> Well, I prefer the beam going this way because it's like more like he's fighting and not like hitting yeah, the ground. That's true. Okay. So and that's then okay. you'll need a stand for the beam then. Oh, yeah, yeah but true. like, if you had that, like in a perfect world, that the beam would go out straight. That's true. Okay, so that's Mecha Godzilla done. The spoiler, spoiler pop that Funko accidentally revealed. Um, now, we have, these are all Godzilla's and cons. They, did, they didn't do any pops on humans, which is I guess a good thing. This technically was the wrong movie, but I'm glad Funko did it anyways. Burning Godzilla. He looks like a lizard. <laughs> he looks like because he is a lizard. Yeah, but he looks more like his lizard skin now. Burning Godzilla, which is of course from the previous movie, not this. This is not does not look like Burning Godzilla from the movie. He looks too dark. I think they just, I think they just repainted him orange. Yeah, it's supposed to glow red, right? Yeah, yeah. Because he also has Mothra's powers. Is there a glow in the dark version? No, this is glow in the dark. Oh, <laughs> I guess because that. But I think it should be red, not orange, because I think that was the color. Yeah. Oh, also the beam Mecha Godzilla is also glow in the dark. All right, so that's Burning Godzilla. I don't know why they did it for this movie. Should have been King of Monsters, but they were uh, someone forgot. It's like. Wait, we forgot this? Well, let's, let's do it throw him in. Let's throw him in this movie. Okay, and here's normal Godzilla with his beam. Here is Godzilla with his beam again, but glow in the dark. And they both have beams, and they have the same poses. Yep, and this is just Godzilla as Godzilla. Just regular Godzilla. Beam is better. And which one? Glow in the dark or regular? Glow in the dark, because it would actually glow. That, And then we have four Kongs. So we have a, fl a flocked Kong, a con regular Kong. Flocked is just like furry. Yeah, furry. So he, this is this is where he's holding the battle axe. What? 
This is Kong pounding his chest. And then Donkey Kong. <laughs> and then this is Kong holding a crane, which I don't remember when he did that. <laughs> what the heck? Maybe in the uh, sea fight. No. This is oh no no red. no! Uh, the beginning of the third round, he was hiding on top. Of, he was on top of a building holding the crane, and he threw ah, it at Godzilla. Yeah, yeah. Why is his eyes red? No clue. Yeah, he got he got he got something in his eyes. He's got, the the beam hit him. It burned it burned his eyes. <laughs> Irritated eyes. Yes. You need eye drops. It's all right. Although the red eyes is weird, but it's like one of them is black, and then the three of them are red. So it's like the black one looks out of place, but then his eyes are supposed to be normally black. I do hope they'll make pops for the upcoming movie. If Funko has the MonsterVerse license, they instead of instead of doing pops from the previous movies. They, re they should do pops for the upcoming movie. I, I would like to get a, a Scar King pop. That would be pretty sick. And a pink Godzilla pop would be nice too. So that is all the pops. Um, do you think it's a good selection? They really emphasize the movie, the movie's popularity. Because there's a lot of variants, essentially. Yeah, we, t we talked about what will happen in the next movie. Do you think they will continue the MonsterVerse seeing its success? If something makes money, they'll find a way to continue Okay, better question. Will they actually have the balls to kill off either Godzilla or Kong in the future? Yes, but they'll bring them back at some point. Like, if they kill one off, they bring it back somehow. Like, like the Mothra scene. Or that, or baby, or like the mini Kong takes over. Like, they kill off Kong, mini Kong takes over, or something like that. So, so they'll bring a replacement of some sorts. They won't kill it off, like, no more Kong forever. There will be some sort of Kong back coming back, even if it's like mini Kong. Okay, well, looks like the future is bright for the MonsterVerse. The new Empire better be a good movie, I swear. The, like, there's a lot on the line. People will have high expectations after this. Because after King of Monsters, I swear, King of Monsters made the least amount of money. Like, it didn't do too well because it came out right a few weeks right after Endgame. So it was kind of a poor release time. And then so when this movie came out, it kind of redeemed, the MonsterVerse kind of redeemed itself with this movie. Because everyone was like, uh, King of Monsters was not that good. And then this movie came out and like, okay, yeah, no, this is good. <laughs> so the new Empire better not flop. It better, be, it better have good good stuff. All right, we are going to insert this section in the episode. Um, it turns out I have a lot more stuff from this movie, and I completely forgot about it. I forgot. I very, I capitalized off this movie a lot when it came out in 2021. So I have a lot of products from the movie. So the stuff we have here is more Funko Pops, except they are the big ones, the 10-inch ones, the Commons, and the Hong Kong Neon Battle. I forgot the official name, but they are Walmart exclusives. And then we also have a Blacklight Pop here, and we have some U2s and some sodas. So, of course, everything here is just products. So, Brandon, what would you like to start? Or, sorry, where would you like to start? What would you like to look at first? All right, let's start on Godzilla side. So that one is the 10-inch Godzilla. It's the common one. Oh, it's quite hollow. It's a very spiky spine thing. His face is cute. Kind of, yeah. You know, it's this one's uh, not as threatening as the Godzilla you see in the movie. But I guess that's the point you made these. Sorry, you say he's not as threatening as he looks in the movie? Yeah. Look at his face. It's, a, it's kind of adorable, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, like, it's a cute Godzilla. So this one is also a 10-inch. He is, I think it's called Hong Kong Bado Neon something. Long story short, he's neon. That's, that's the point of it. And he is a Walmart exclusive, so I don't know if you can... Get them now from any Walmarts. Don't think they sell it anymore. I can see the color's been coming off. I, th I think that's part of. I think that's Is that part, part of the design. Yeah. Okay. Well, because he he does glow blue when he shoots his atomic breath. Mhm. Mm I don't think he was like this color in the movie though. Well, his spikes were blue a lot. I wish it came with an atomic breath thing. Oh well, yeah, that would that would be pretty cool. Like a big big atomic breath piece they're the same weight right yeah it's the same exact mold which one do you think looks cooler uh the blue one okay well i guess that's fair what about you brandon i'll t actually this one just because the, the color looks like it's coming off okay 
That's fair. That's fair. It's battle damage. They did not do a Danish Mecha Godzilla, which would have been nice, but I understand. Spoilers. But they they done Mecha Godzilla pops anyways, so it would have been nice to see a 10 inch version of him. But uh, hey, who knows? Maybe they will eventually. All right, let's do this one next. This one is the Black Light Godzilla. He is an Entertainment Earth exclusive. And for those of you who don't understand what black light means, it just means a bunch of different colors mashed together. That's that's literally what it is. Yeah, I see colors. like three neon colors, colors on there. there. Yeah, it's neon <laughs> colors. They that's usually the focus of it. I'm not usually a big fan of black light pops. I personally don't see the appeal in it. But this was given to me for free, so I will never complain of about free stuff. So <laughs> what do you think? It's colorful. It doesn't really fit the theme of the other ones, though. That's true. Mm. Uh, like, I mean, we were getting a pink Godzilla in the new movie, but... What shall we do next? You choose, Santos. These three are done now. Uh, the sodas and the U2. So, sodas or U2s? Which one first? Oh. <laughs> um, I don't know the sodas. Okay, let's do the sodas. So, you're holding the chase. Here, you show the chase. Here's the common. So, this soda was actually quite hard to find. I had to buy the chase from an eBay guy. I could not rely on luck. I had to purchase the chase directly. And it was definitely worth it because as you can see, big difference from the common. Very big difference. They're just casually holding $300 right there. Oh yeah. Right. Yes we are. <laughs> it doesn't look as good as the 10 inch. Really? You don't think it looks as looks it you don't think it looks as good? too bright of a blue color uh i see what you mean well i they had to compress you can see the figure feels very compressed because they had to put it in the can so they had to compress it down a little like the tail is just squished up against this the rest of him all right next soda let's do kong next so this is the chase hold oh sorry this is the common this is the chase it is flocked so fuzzy if you don't understand the terminology. This one looks more like an ape. I mean, he is a mammal. It's just the texture. I don't like the texture on this, though. You don't like the, the fuzziness? No, it doesn't feel like a figure. It's like, I don't know. They, this one looks better. It's the fuzziness just could, like, ruin. Again, they had to squish it small enough so it can go in a can. So, they tried. They tried. Honestly, though, I do think even though the, the Godzilla chase is worth more i think the kong chase might be worth like personally collecting wise it's worth more to collect the the kong chase just because it's actually realistic you know he's a gorilla in the end so the flock works in a way this i appreciate it but it's way too blue <laughs> it's way too blue so yeah so that is the sodas uh let's do the other 10 inches and then we'll move on to the, the u2s so here is kong the common one, I'm going to give you, and this is the neon one, also the neon Hong Kong battle one, also Walmart exclusive. Now, this one, I'm not really a big fan of it, because he's not really that purple. I, it's The point of it is to reflect the neon lights from the buildings in Hong Kong, reflecting off him. That's what they were going, uh, going for. The regular one's better, but both of them are doing a generic superhero landing pose <laughs> yeah, that doesn't look like neon lights at all so i it just looks like purple paint right uh, like he just dived into a bucket of purple <laughs> <laughs> and they're like okay we're gonna release him as a whole other figure um okay before we move on to the u2s let's rate all the funko stuff out of 10 what do you rate all the big figures the big pops five five out of ten Okay. Uh, as a whole? Oh, for Godzilla. Oh. Oh, for Godzilla. Yeah. Which one? This one? Very straight. Okay, let's do the common one first. This one. Uh, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10? Yeah, 5. 5 out of 10. You really, you just don't like him. Alright, <laughs> the neon one. 6 out of 10. 7. Okay. How about Kong? This one. 7. 7. <laughs> you do not like him <laughs> at all. Okay. All right. How about the sodas? Six. Three. Five. And 
six. Wow. The one that's worth the most. You don't like it at all. <laughs> Seven, six, six point five, six. I think, um, I think I'll give six, 7.5. Don't, I don't know why I did the point five, but oh well. Um, yeah, I agree. The neon one is not really that good. I'll give it a four. And then this one, I think a seven. It's just big monkey. <laughs> it's just big monkey. All right. And then, uh, you know, I, I would, I understand why it needed to be like small, but it could have been a lot detailed. So five, seven, four, uh, this one I'll give, hmm, actually I don't know. It's the same mold, so I'll, I'll give it a six just because of the flocked. But yeah, uh, overall those solid products, if you want to buy them now, maybe a little bit too late. However, you can always get the upcoming ones for the new empire. I'm pretty sure Funko has a license, has bought the license to make more of these. If they could make pops out of this movie, I'm sure they can do the next one. So I guess we'll have to see. All right, lastly, we have the U2s here. So let's put these away. Why don't you start us off, Brandon, with the Godzilla? All right, this one has. Now, YouTube's is a completely different product. Might I? Have, I should let you, everyone watching know, in case you don't know the difference. YouTube's is much harder to get because there are limited quantities. All right, so it has a breath that you attach, and this one actually is stable and can stand. This they designed it so it can stand, yeah. So that's I'll give a point for that. Yeah, it's better than the sodas. Yeah, it looks like higher quality, especially the atomic breath is like translucent. Mm -hmm. Not like the SH Monster Arts. It can't like <laughs> the breath can't. Yeah, stand it can't up. can't stand up on its own. That's yeah. fair. Nine. Eight out of ten. Eight. I give it an eight as well. Yeah, very well detailed figure. Unfortunately, it is a BAM exclusive, and we don't have BAMs up here in Canada. So, long story short, this is a very hard to get figure for Canadians. This, however, you can go to your local Toys R Us right now and it'll be there. This is, of course, the iconic air aircraft carrier battle, the first round one, as a lot of people call it. And this wasn't the trailer shot, so I think this itself became a meme when the trailer came out. I don't think this is size accurate. <laughs> This is a this is a whole ship platform, right? Yeah, this is the aircraft carrier they were fighting. Or aircraft. Was it a ship or was it an aircraft carrier? It, well, he was on a ship, and then to protect the humans, he jumped onto the the carrier to draw Godzilla away from the humans. They look kind of tiny. I don't. Besides the perspective, though, it looks it looks pretty good. Yeah, it's good. Well, you two, their heads are bigger. So. I think this one's pretty good. The would I would say maybe um reverse the roles because obviously i i guess the icon this shot comes from here this is how you can recreate it maybe include a little bit like uh, fighter jets on it it looks the platform looks kind of empty but i do like the the detail of the water so i'll give this a seven out of ten all right seven out of ten uh seven all right lastly we have Kong here on his Hollow Earth throne. I'm sure because the next movie is going to be revolved in the Hollow Earth. We'll probably see this again. Does his axe glow? Yeah. It can block his heat atomic breath. No, like the, the figure does it. Would it? Oh, no, no. The figure doesn't glow. Uh, yeah. Looks all right. But I, it would be nice if that was glowing. It's a glow in a dark feature. Yeah. Um, I like the attention to detail with the battle scars i mean this is before he f he fights that to, uh, oh oh I, I don't remember maybe he's not supposed to have it maybe you two's got it wrong but anyways yeah that is all the additional products uh, obviously we showed off the pops so that's it for now back to the main program that is our reaction way more there was way more stuff to talk about in this movie than king of monsters and rightfully so if you're excited to see a new empire, make sure to leave a comment and let us know how excited you are. I am curious to see. And also, if Funko is going to make pops on the movie, who do you want them to make pops of? Obviously, no humans. 
We're talking strictly monsters. <laughs> and, of course, if you miss any of our previous reactions, make sure to check them out. As for now, any last words? Nice. Oh, well, Kong just died. <laughs> That's your last words? Yes. All right, any, any senses? Yeah, the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same guy. I agree. Very nice. <laughs> All right. Thanks for listening. We'll see you in the next one.